Tomorrow is the opening day of the 2018 fishing season. I feel like a kid again. This is awesome. The lakes just opened up. It is getting warm. We have been just blanketed by this ridiculous winter. Welcome to the gear room, by the way. This is where I store most of my rods, equipment, and this is the war room. Big Whiskey, what do we got going on here? Making the to-do list. Uh, we got batteries to charge. We got camera gear to set up. We got a lot of stuff to pack up. Opening weekend is always a lot of organization. We have quite a bit to do. Chaz is in the old garage. Let's see what he's up to here. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products. And by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less. Guys, good morning. Holy cow, it's opening day of fishing season 2018. I am so pumped, but first thing we gotta do is get some coffee rolling. Gotta, gotta get the coffee going, man. Whiskey, what's the coffee situation? All right, Brian, tell me to keep it down. I'm kind of being a little loud, but you got it going? What you do? Apparently, guys, there's a setting called auto brew, which makes it difficult for an average fisherman to turn on a, a complex coffee pot. amount of lakes to fish because of this late ice out. Most of our lakes, especially the big waters, are still iced up significantly. Way too dangerous to be driving a fiberglass boat through. After today, I think we're going to be probably almost clear, at least in our flowages, three lakes chain and over chain. But right now, our game plan is to fish the rivers. There's current, the water is a little warmer, and we're going to find open water, which is the big deal. Right now, we just need to, we want to launch the boat and fish. Welcome! What do you got going on for one? Oh, this is this is pretty nice, dude. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Guys, huge update right now. The lake seems to be open. The big lake. We're not expecting this. Last night we were iced up. It came on. This is one of our best early spring spots, and we've got good leaf cover out here. The ice is kind of stopping us from fishing it completely, obviously, but we can still gain access to some of this reef that we want to fish. Um, no success in our morning trip out on the river here. It was beautiful. Um, interesting conditions with the ice. We're gonna pick up, maybe grab some lunch, and uh, try a different lake here. We'll keep you up. Here. Take one. 
Ooh, Mike, looks nice. Up. Oh, it's a big old bass. Oh, big bass. There she is. Mike, come on over this way. Mike, come on up. Dude, it's huge. Dude. Mike, bring it over here if you can. Yeah. Here, just come on over here. That's a big fish, dude. Oh, holy cow, dude. That's yeah, her, Mike. Jimmy. Oh, that's her. <laughs> dude, that's her, man. That's her. That's her. That's her. <laughs> Yeah, baby! Yeah, that dude, is her. Oh my god, she thing. swallowed. Dude, that's a huge bass. That's she her. Swallowed that. Dude, dude, we're talking about she's coming back for the Get the JBOs. The dude, get, get the, the JBOs. JBOs that is a monster largemouth bass. Look at the size of that thing. That is the way Holy to start the season. Cow, 2018. Unbelievable. We're in Wisconsin. And, and you raised this fish not 20 minutes ago. We lost her 20 minutes ago, came back, and got her. Unbelievable. And we were just talking about how these big fish early in the season will come back for another crack at these lures. Amazing. Mike Cotti. Let's get some more. Now we are at the peak, um, you know, the solar peak, and we're going to go hit one of our favorite largemouth bass lakes this afternoon. Absolutely. Um, and we've also got a major period taking place. we got moon underfoot this afternoon, so all of that combined should put us in, uh, in good position. Uh, it's, yeah, it's 30 degrees warmer than it was before. Brian, that's a fish, baby. It is. Yes. Nice whiskey. Come on up, baby. Come on. Woo. Ooh, it looks like a good one, man. Mike, get the net here. I got the net. Watch the corner. Take it right home, now, little bass. Dude, dude, we'll take her. We'll take yes, the dude. Bass. Nice job, man. All right. Awesome. Oh, we were yeah. just saying it's about time we get something yeah. on the board here. Nice work, bud. Nice little early season bass. Tough day out here. Water is uh, still pretty cold with the late ice out. This is nice though. We'll take her. Put her on the board. Let's get you back in the water. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> Wait. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> 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 got a good one. Got a good one, baby. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Dude, I knew this color. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at the legend bass. Oh, yes. All right, whiskey. Here she comes. Nice. Right in there, baby. Nice job. Woo. Excellent. You called the color. I was waiting for that you one. You called baby. the color, dude. Yes. All right, dude. Look at that bass. We got a storm coming in. Guys, we are cranking the deep weed edge here. Beautiful large mouth. Let's get her back. That's awesome. Ready? A better one. There we go, baby. Yeah, that's a, that's a good right. one. Much better. Dude, that's, that's a good a bass. Nice bass right there, man. It's a great bass. Beautiful. As the sun is setting on the major period. Gorgeous. That was awesome. That's what it's all about. Yeah. We wait all day for these moments. I mean, Mike, you had your moment earlier today. But this is, yeah, I, I'm kind of starting to feel it right now where it's, it's real yeah. nice and warm and just a touch of a breeze. You can hear the frogs, the crickets chirping, the eagles.
right, guys, good morning. Welcome to day two of opening weekend 18. I have the one and only Jimmy Houston here. <laughs> We're both commenting how we look like crap right now. I am tired. <laughs> and we haven't had enough coffee. That's, so that's, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of opening weekend as part of uh, getting back into this mindset of just being completely physically uh, exhausted. The season's so short. Yes. Yeah, you, you have to maximize all opportunities to fish because all of us have jobs and our time to fish is limited, so we got to max it out Absolutely. every moment possible. I was, I looked over to you and I knew Dude, it was a slob. Oh, I knew Got her. You got her? <laughs> got her, dude. Get the net. Oh, yeah. Good one. The same one, but it's a nice one. Oh, yeah, Mikey, nice job, dude. I was like, we're not, we're not gonna let her hang <laughs> on too long. And a boy. Dude, now that is a beautiful walleye right there. Nice fish. Spawn and walleyes, jig and minnow combo on the rock. That is awesome. Oh, okay. Alright guys, so a little update for you here. What Jimmy Houston and I are doing right now is using our mega side imaging electronics here to locate gravel shorelines. It's subtle, but you can see it on the uh, side imaging. See all these little indentations there. This is sand, this is gravel right there. Pretty colors on that fish. Unbelievable. That's sweet, man. <laughs> that was fun. Do you, do you wanna do you wanna start this we, one off? Uh, I, mean, uh, I mean it was it was a it was a great day. It was a great day on the water, it was a beautiful day. Um we dialed in a pattern on on pre-spawn walleyes. The ending of our trip this morning was a little scary not getting a gps signal to the drone and so i decided to put the thing on wi-fi well the wi-fi signal was great from the boat we, were, we thought we were in luck this is gonna be awesome never tried uh launching it on wi-fi before so the moment it goes up in the air the wi-fi signal dies <laughs> mike is frantically i'm like mike google this google that mike's googling shit i have no connection to this drone it is it's sitting just floating in this spot over the water by the way yes which you know you're talking thousand some dollar investment is just hovering over the water i have insurance on it but still it doesn't matter it's yeah, an unsettling matter. feeling when you're you're looking at your drone and it's just i have no control over this thing so so chaz decided to be a hero and uh, and sacrifice the propeller blades, which I, you know, We're in, not in the sure. end, yeah, I think they're okay. But got the old Freebill 9510 out, and we netted the drone. So it was a sweet ending to our trip this morning. Yes. So all right, great day. That closes the uh, the book on opening weekend 2018. Awesome.